The process of installing wireless network adapters is a little different than any other component you add to your computer. Normally when you install a new piece of hardware, you would install the hardware, Windows would detect it, and then ask you for a driver for the new hardware. With the wireless network adapter, it's the opposite. The adapters ship with a CD that you put into your computer and install a program. This program installs the drivers for the adapter onto your computer. It also installs a utility that you will use to configure the adapter. There's usually an option given during the installation to use the configuration utility that ships with Windows to configure the adapter. We'll choose to use the one that came with the wireless adapter for now. We can change this later. We'll use this configuration utility in section 4 of the lessons to get the wireless adapter connected to the router. Be sure to read the manual that comes with your wireless network adapter for specific instructions. Now that the drivers and configuration utility are installed, we can connect the wireless network adapter to this computer. It's a USB wireless adapter, so we'll be inserting it into an available USB port. The computer has a few open USB ports on the front of the case. We could insert the adapter here, but it's not the best place. The adapter sticks out the front of the case and is very easy to break. We'll insert the adapter into an open USB port on the back of the case, but there's a problem common to most USB wireless adapters. The adapter is too thick and won't go in next to another USB cable. The adapter ships with a short USB extension cable that we'll put between the wireless adapter and the USB port. On the computer's monitor, in Windows Vista, a prompt shows up next to the clock, saying Installing Device Driver Software. If we click it, we see it searching for a driver for the device that is already available on the computer. It finds one and says it's ready for use. In Windows XP, this process is essentially the same. The wording is just a little different. Down by the clock, we have a new icon. If we hover over the icon, it gives the name of the wireless adapter, and it says it's disconnected. This means it's not connected to a wireless router. In Section 4, we'll use this configuration utility to connect to our router and get this computer online. 